Are you happy with your buns? I am. I love bread. Buns, loaves, rolls, ciabatta, especially the ones with a crispy crust, the kind you thought you had to buy at the bakery. Not anymore, because you can make your own crusty rolls at home, no kneading, almost no work at all. Watch this. I'm going to start with two and a half cups of flour. Now I'm using bread flour. Uh, you can use all-purpose flour as well. I've done both. So that's two and a half cups of flour. And I'm going to put in a quarter teaspoon of yeast. And I'm using uh, a rapid rise yeast, but I've also used active dry yeast. And I have never seen a difference. So any kind of yeast in there. This is the one I'm using today. Uh, one teaspoon of salt. That's the dry ingredients. We're going to stir that up just a little bit. And then to this, we're going to add one and a quarter cups of very hot water. This is just hot water the way it comes out of the tap, as hot as it comes out, not boiling, but very hot water. So we're going to add this into the mix. And that's the, ba the basis of the dough right here. That's all that's going to go in the dough. And if you saw my video for no knead bread and you don't have a Dutch oven, this is almost the same recipe, but it's rolls. All right, so that's it. You stir it up like this. And you're going to cover it with plastic and let it rest on the countertop for three hours. Okay, there. Cover it up and let it rest on the countertop, not in a warm spot, but just on the countertop for three hours. And I did one ahead of time, so I'll just wipe off here. This is what it's going to look like after three hours. Okay. And you see how it's kind of puffy and uh, little bubbles and stuff? It's very loose like that. That's what it's supposed to look like. So now I'm going to reset the table, put up my board, and we're going to shape the rolls. Be right back. Okay, I've got my board set up. And by the way, you can start this dough the night before if you use cold water. And in the morning, after 8 to 12 hours or so of resting on a countertop, you can shape the rolls like we're going to do now. So, all right. So you need a floured board. Actually, a pretty well floured board. So, all right. There. Now we put the dough on the board, and it is a kind of a loose dough, so we may have to add a little bit more flour to make it workable. But there it goes. All right. Now I'm going to sprinkle, I don't know, a couple of tablespoons of flour on it. And it's easy to do this with a scraper. You just kind of fold it over maybe uh, 10 or 12 times just to kind of make it not quite so sticky and a little bit more workable. And just a touch more flour. You don't need to add too much, but you know, it's hard to mess this up. It's such a flexible dough. You know, you can, that's, that's good right there. You can work with that. Okay, now to make the rolls, it's really easy. You, we're going to make eight rolls. You divide this into eight. So it's kind of a circle. I just cut it down the middle like that. And then cut that again like that. And then cut each one of those approximately in half. That's the beginning of our rolls. Now, let me show you how to shape them. They're really fun. All right, so you just take one of these, and you need quite a bit of flour. So you take one of these, and pull it apart, put it on the flour, flour your hands, and I just shape them into whatever it takes to get it into kind of a, a round shape. I find the easiest way is to keep, the, uh, keep your hands floured and just pull it up like, almost like you're doing a drawstring. Just pull it up like that, and that's it. And then just put it on a, on a parchment lined baking sheet. Okay? All right, here's the last one. Look what it does to your fingers. So, but you know, you've got to have really floured hands to do this. It's a very sticky dough. There's my last little drawstring bag on the uh, baking sheet. Okay? Let me just wipe my hands a little bit. So now, what we're going to do is uh, cover these with a towel, which I have right here, some kind of a dish towel. You let them sit on the countertop, not in a warm spot for just as long as it takes to heat up the oven. Now mine takes 35 minutes, so I'm going to set the timer for 35 minutes. I'm going to preheat the oven right now to 450, very hot, okay? So you cover them with a towel. You, at the same time, you start preheating the oven to 450. They're going to sit for... Now my oven takes 35 minutes to get to that temperature. You have to make sure it's very hot. That's key to making these things puff up. Well, Piggy says it's time to bake these buns. So let me show you how they're going to look after 35 minutes on the countertop. Now you see they don't double in size, which is normal. They'll just puff up like that a little bit, but that's perfectly fine. 
Now, we're gonna bake them, but if you like sesame seed rolls, you can actually brush these with a little egg white. You need a really soft brush like this, though, a really soft one. You would just gently brush egg white on here, sprinkle with some sesame seeds, you'll have sesame seed rolls. Okay, into the preheated 450 degree Fahrenheit oven for 20 minutes. And wait till you see. So after 20 to 25 minutes, depending on your oven, this is what they're going to look like. Look at this. Oh my God, look what happens to these in the oven. Is that amazing? And the smell, oh, this is too much for me. I get so excited. Okay, all right, let me show you. Let me get a close up of these. Look at this. Look at this beautiful crust, and I've got to try to cut one. They're hot, but I'm going to try to cut one open for you. Watch this. Oh, they're so hot. Look, look there. I can't touch it. But look at the inside, that beautiful. It's like a sourdough bread. I'm telling you, you make these rolls for a bread person like me, you're going to bring a big smile to their face, just like me. <laughs> this may be the easiest way ever to make the best granola ever. Six ingredients, one pan, and it's done. You can make this bread. What did it take like Two minutes of work, three minutes of work, the rest of it's just waiting time. And look at this. Look. Look. Can you hear, hear the, listen to that crust. 